Good morning guys, Lillian with Lily Ray's collection. Uh, today I'm going to cover this Arteza uh, journal that I have. It's my art journal. Um, it's 5x5 five by, five by 8x5. By and I want to, I started out by transferring the napkins that I have onto paper. Now this napkin was sent to me by Leslie. Let me just show you all of the beautiful napkins that both Leslie and Stacy sent me. Thank you so much, ladies. Um, these are the ones that, let me see. I'm trying to remember who sent me what because I put them all together. Um, Stacy sent me a, a slew, but uh, anyway, let me just show you really quick. These, I, I don't know who sent me what. But they are gorgeous. You can actually use them as an inspiration to draw in your art journal, which I plan to do. Look how beautiful this one is. I think these were Stacy. And when you open these up, it's a full napkin. It's not the ones that have, you know, the white square. So you could use this as a full page spread. I think this looks like 10 by oh, 10 by 10. Yeah, 10 by 10. And then here, these. These are gorgeous. My kitchen, my household is actually all Tuscany. So this is perfect. And here's a silver one with some dots, polka dots. A variation of black and white. Look at how beautiful that paisley is. Look at this rose. Cow. Look how beautiful they are. This one should go with this one. This is beautiful to draw. Look at this. This looks like a watercolor painting that I, I could do. What an inspiration is that. This reminds me of the 70s. I love this color. Look how beautiful this is. And this lavender. This blue rose. This reminds me of the royal uh, china that's out there. Look at this. Gorgeous, isn't it? All right, so... Um, I'm going to, I started out with this one. This is the Eiffel Tower, of course. And what I did was I took the white paper off the back. And what I use is a piece of tape. I put it on the corner and I rip it gently so that I only take the white part out, which is here. And you could save this to use it on mixed media or whatever you want. Um, so I did that. So this is what I got. Then I took my oxide, distress oxide. Um, this one is walnut stain. And then I went around the corner with my, uh, dauber. All right. And then I took a little bit of glue on a white paper. You could see it here. This is what I ironed it on. And I just put a little bit of glue and placed it down, went like this. I have a little iron here that my husband bought me for Christmas a year ago, maybe two years. I ironed it, and then I pulled it, and it ripped like that. And that's the texture that you get. Then you can take this, if you want. These are choices. These are choices. You don't have to do this. And just lightly... go around that like that. If you want, you could do the same thing all the way around. As you can see, I didn't put enough glue on the napkin here, but <clears throat> this is a test piece. I, I'm still going to use it. So, um, this is what I want to cover. So, what I want to do is, I was going to put a solid cover like that. I was testing which piece works. Um, this piece almost works because I want to do this but then if I do that 
I'm gonna tear these corners so that I have a rough corner. Um, I have rough corners. I gotta put my fan on because it is hot in here. Put the lights. Okay. Alright, so here we go. I think this is just beautiful this way. Alright, I'm gonna try and not dilly dally because I sometimes get too slow. Um I think what I wanna do is I want to go ahead and put glue on this. This is decoupage. Maybe that's why the napkin didn't stick so well. This is a, um, a brush that I use for gluing. And then what I'm going to do is randomly tear what it is going to be the background instead of the solid paper. Just get your edges, make sure you cover your edges. Okay. And then this was sent as well by either Tracy or, um, yeah, I think it was Tracy. And then try to get at least your corners. So that you don't have to mess with your corners and all you have to do is just place everything down in the center. Uh, that's how I do it. Um, so with this corner, I'm going to flip it this way. It's going to go here. And it's okay if you see a little bit of the black. Not a big deal. And then we have this corner. Like that. I'm going to put a coat of decoupage on top of this just to make sure that it sticks. And then see this one, we can just cut it in half. I'm putting it upside down, right side up, it doesn't matter. It's a collage. And then this one here. Okay, that's not going to matter. So I am going to, because that's going to be covered by the napkin. I'm going to go ahead and put a little more decoupage on this. It's so much easier to go to the dollar store, get these ketchup bottles. I have my, um, this is my gesso by, uh, what is it, um, Dollar Romney. And then this is my decoupage. So, where's my brush? Then you just want to go ahead and make sure that you... My dryer here, my heat gun.
it's a little sticky, but I want it to dry because I want to put some uh, walnut stain over it so that it's not so stark white. So I want to make sure. At least the edges anyway, because what's going to be seen is the edges, not the center. The center is going to be covered by napkins. Okay. And now, this can go up here. But because I did this on the bottom, I want to carefully tear so it has those uh, torn edges. I, I need the rule of that. You can just pull and it gives you these ragged edges. If anyone knows who sells that ruler, um, leave it in the comments below, please, because I can't remember who makes the ruler. And it's so much easier with that. Look at my tearing. I mean, it, it is an art journal. It's okay. But <clears throat> I'd really like to purchase that ruler. All right. It's hard because it's small. I don't want to tear the napkin. If we have time, I'll show you how I did the napkin. It's a little different than using the parchment and the plastic and all that nonsense. Okay, so here we go. That's good enough. Now we are going to do the same thing with this. You could use these in your journal books. <clears throat> you could use these uh, to make pockets. You think about this as a just a piece of paper, and you can do everything you do with paper. Just have to think outside the box a little bit. Okay, so now, see that? How pretty? So now I'm going to take my glue <clears throat> and I'm going to go ahead and kind of eyeball this. And then I want to put some on here, mostly the edges. just going to place that right 
right there. my brayer um, okay so now we are going to coat this and cover this with decoupage and be gentle because remember this this is still a napkin but I want to make sure that I cover the whole thing with my decoupage to protect it. So just gently cover your napkin. See how it's wrinkling? Gently, gently, gently. You're lightly touching it, tapping it. Okay, now that's not going to move from there. And I, I like the, the, the crinkles. So I'm going to let that dry. Actually, I'm going to put it by the fan and let this dry while we um, <clears throat> move to the next step. All right, let me just put this brush in this water. So now, I'll demonstrate it with this. Nothing goes to waste. See that? I'm going to take and just cut this napkin. Remember to remove the ply in the back. going to do it with this. Um, I'm going to, again, I have to get my, <clears throat> even though this is glass and it cleans well, I want to make sure that I don't, um, it's easier to remove it from plastic, from this Fiskars mat. This is heat resistant as well, so I can even have my iron on it. Okay, I'm, we're going to be using the iron now. So, this is the paper. I'm going to... Oh, it looks like I need more decoupage. And again... Actually, I'm going to use a snap to dry this brush. You don't want your brush to be wet. Okay, so now... And just spread that. This is a um, graph paper. I'm sorry, this is um, accounting paper. Try and put it as straight as you can. it just a little bit. Once it's down, it's down. You can't, um, okay? And then we're going to take this 
I'm going to turn this down onto my mat. You could actually iron on top of this. I can just iron on top of this. This iron is a travel iron. Believe it or not, it gets really hot. This is going to help the glue adhere and dry quicker. And there you have your napkin. I'm going to put that aside, let that one dry. And then we're going to do one more. I'm going to do one on a... Uh, on book paper. So don't throw your pages away. <clears throat> it's so, the paper, paper's so delicate when you take the backing off. Okay, so there we have that. Here's your napkin. I mean, your page. And you'll be able to see through the pages, through the page, like that. It's the same process. And this is good because I don't have to use, you know, um, what do you call it? The plastic and the freezer wrap. And I, I had them. I'll show you. I had them, and then I said, why would I have to go through that? You know, I really thought about it. Why would I have to go through that when I could just put it onto the paper? <laughs> right? And then cut around the paper to get the exact thing that I want. The exact size that I want. Let's turn that around. Iron it. I haven't journaled in a long time, so I miss my journaling, making my books. This may get me started, the napkins. Start it up again. I also used to make printables. Okay, look. And you could see the pages right through there. You see that? How beautiful? Look, I was going to use my parchment paper and my uh, wrap paper. Then I thought about it and I was like, really? There has to be an easier way. Just make sure that the heat is enough to... Um, you don't need steam on your iron. It's just a hot iron, period. See that? You could take this, you can fold this and make it into a pocket. Or you can double it with one of the, the papers. Well, that one's a little torn. I have book pages here on my, on the, my right side there. I'll be able to use my templates with this. I can put these together on the side here, cut it, and make a top hole so that I can slide stuff in. Let me try that. So I'm going to make it a tall pocket. You could make tags with this. And then don't forget the, the bottom. Alright, 
So now I'm going to just place this on top, trying to get it even, as even as I can. that heat, just put a piece of paper on top, or use your heat gun, my iron is on, so I'll use that, okay, so here we have a pocket, look, and then on that, with that, I'm going to take put up to punch a hole here now when I do this um, I want to make sure that I have with the paper I had just now oh here it is you want to make sure that because this is so thin and it's really you know flimsy you want to make sure that you have thick paper behind it in order for your hole punch. I'm gonna do the hole punch on the side there because I don't wanna get rid of my Eiffel Tower. So see the papers there, behind there? I'm gonna take, this wasn't working the other day, I hope it doesn't get stuck. And you can do it this way so you could see where you're gonna punch your hole. You know, you buy these things, they work for a couple of days, and then it doesn't. Let's try this side. Come on. Okay, here we go. So now, I'm going to take, and it's just an indication that there's a um, opening. hope it doesn't get stuck. Let me stand up. Oh, it's not doing it. Yeah, I should have taken this nonsense back when I could, but let me just, since it now has the indication, I'm going to go ahead and follow that. I gotta throw that punch away. the paper instead of the scissors that's good enough this I gotta throw off this is no good now let me get my notebook vintage my notebook looks. <laughs> and maybe, okay. Let me just get rid of that. All right. 
So now I want to take my pocket. And get around. Whoops. Whatever needs more glue, we just put more glue. take and this could be my pocket right here for my journal it's pretty big look and if I wanted to slide something in the back I would put tape just all the way around let's do that This is uh, scrapbook.com tape. Put it right on the edge. I need my pokey tool. As I'm doing this, it reminds me how much I miss journaling, uh, you know, creating books. During the week, I'm going to try and come up with different projects. Like, you know, making a journal, making an art page, making a pocket page, covering stuff with napkins, stuff like that. And then this one goes right here. And I'm actually going to put, so let me leave some room there. I'm going to put a closure on this. I'm going to bring it all the way over. more glue down there. Just put in some glue. Okay. So this out. Okay, I'm putting on my glasses. I want to see how long this... All right, we're at... Oh, 35 minutes. Okay. All right, so we have this page. I left the back empty so that I can... You can... This is just another example. You can just tuck something all the way. This is the actual pocket. Yeah, I got to glue that more. And then behind there you'll be able to stick something else once it dries. I gotta let that dry. 
All right, so that is it for today. I didn't bring the glue up far enough. Well, that is it for today. We're going to move on, and um, next week I will have, actually today, yeah, next week I'll have another session on something different. But I just love this. Uh, maybe we'll do the back of my notebook. All right, guys, well, um, thank you for joining me today. Uh, this was a short and sweet session. Um, Leave a comment below if you know where I can find that ruler that has the uh, ragged edges. And um, thank you for joining me. Please leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. Take care.